Hey guys, what is up? It is Jim here. Today I have a new gun for you guys, and this gun has been requested for a long time, and um, I just thought that there was nothing special about the gun, so I decided I wouldn't make it. Um, but I've actually now made it, and uh, it is quite insane, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, this is the LEGO Browning Automatic Rifle. So, um, yeah, this gun is pretty big, and it's pretty long, more or less, and... Um, yeah, uh, there's a feature on this gun that I found really interesting, which is the main reason why I actually wanted to make this gun. So, we'll go over that um, pretty soon, but first, let's go over the stock, which is just a standard uh, rifle stock, nothing too special. Um, it does have a sling mount in the back. Um, it's nothing too uh, special uh, on top. I did actually leave out the... Um, shoulder rest uh, that is usually on top here, which is meant for hip firing the gun. Uh, so then you have something up here uh, that you can then fold up from the back to um, rest so that there won't be too much weight. <coughs> so here we have the slopes, which I use for grip, which makes it really comfortable. Uh, we have the trigger, which I sadly had to use the Technic trigger piece because I didn't have. Um, any idea how to make the uh, brick one be this far back to the trigger guard. So here we have the um, charging handle. So this gun is open bolt. So when you pull it back, it then stays there. And then when it shoots, it of course goes forwards, uh, which I think is a way easier uh, way of making a shooting mechanism for a gun. Um, but I could be completely wrong. I don't really know too much about the mecha mechanics of guns. So. You can just push it backwards. There's no rubber band. <clears throat> Here we have the feature of the gun uh, that I'm the most proud of, and I'm pretty sure no one has ever done this on a BAR on YouTube. This is the working magazine release. So how it works is uh, just a button right here. You just press it, and then the magazine gets released. So, um... The reason why I'm hyping this so much up is because I spent a day just designing this. Uh, because it is quite a complex design um, when you think about it. But really it's just uh, quite simple. It is a axle pushing on a beam piece on the inside here. And then the beam piece has a few pieces attached that will then stick out and then be pushed back when I push the um, magazine release. So sadly they are quite fragile. Uh, so when I put in the magazine I usually push the mag release. To then put it in and then I release it again but you can just slam the magazine home and then it'll it'll work it just has the chance of breaking so um, I'll try to show you what it looks like so you can see right in there those hook pieces that's what hooks onto the magazine release so the beam uh, the, the axle pushes on the beam and then it releases those kind of in the style of a uh, AK magazine release supported by a button in the back you could say so Put the mag back in. There we go. So, as I said, you don't have to push the button to put in the mag, but I just do it so that it doesn't break. Um, we have these flaring pieces off on the mag well, which I'm not too sure what really are. I think it's because um, it might be hard to put in the magazine uh, because of the uh, fact that it doesn't go too much into the gun. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, this one actually goes all the way into the gun, um, right up to the ejection port, which we will go over to right here. So it does open up. Um, let's try to pull back. There we go. So you can see it does open up. And it does get kind of stuck, um, as if it was a real open bolt. But yeah. Now we'll go over to the iron sight or the rear sight which is supposed to be flipped up by just rolling this but um, there's no way of making that in Lego um, especially having two studs wide and then having a space open on a plate that's <laughs> no way to do it so yeah um, especially with the space so it's just standard um, iron sights so I'll try to give you a view right there ish maybe there we go Perfect. So they are pretty standard, um, but then you could flip those up, uh, as I said, and then you'd have more uh, long-range sights. 
So I'm not too sure what this bump is on top. I'm guessing it's something stamped. Um, or maybe it's for um, mechanism space. But it's there. Here we have the barrel, which is absolutely massive. It is super long, and um, it has to be because it was used uh, for more longer range um, shooting uh, in the war. So it's about the length of a sniper rifle's barrel. <laughs> So it is pretty much a sniper rifle. Here we have the handguard, which I'm not super happy with uh, because I wouldn't be able to get the uh, indentation. Uh, that would be slopes on the bottom and on the top, and then it would be kind of four studs in the middle here. Uh, but I didn't have the slopes for that, so it's just standard squared. Uh, but it is a different color than the rest of the gun. Um, of course, not the details, but it is just so that it looks a little bit different, and it does. There's the front uh, sling mount right there. This is the uh, gas tube right here. And it has the bipod, which is a feature I thought I had to include since it is a long range um, rifle. So the way it works, you just pull it out and then let it dangle down. So they're just held on by these um, pin pieces. Oh shit. This one's a bit stiff. There we go. So, it just kind of <laughs> dangle down like that. It doesn't really um, extend out um, as wide as it should. Um, but they do work. I mean, you could probably try to use the gun like that, but it would probably just break the whole thing. So, I wouldn't if I um, were trying to. But it does look um, pretty good. And I thought it was a thing I just couldn't leave out. So... There's the front sight right there, uh, no real muzzle brake on this thing, uh, it's kind of just an open barrel. So um, yeah, this gun was pretty insane to make, uh, as I said the magazine release was probably the biggest highlight and the only reason why I wanted to build this gun actually. Um, but yeah, super happy with it and uh, I hope you guys really like it as well. So that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys, goodbye.